Hello beautiful people of the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Shay and today's video is going to be my postpartum update. As I'm filming this part of the video, I'm currently six weeks postpartum and uh, things have changed a lot. Let's start from the beginning. Let's go back to three weeks postpartum. I'm currently three weeks postpartum and I wanted to just touch a little bit on what's been going on. So the bleeding literally happened for like two days while I was in the hospital. And by the time I got home, the bleeding pretty much stopped. Like I would wear one pad for the entire 24 hour period and it would barely be anything on it. And then I would just change it because I'm like, I've been wearing this for 24 hours. I should probably change it. But there was like nothing on it. Enough that you still couldn't wear like just light jeans and go out without a pad but you still kind of, you know, had to wear a pad, but nothing where you had to change your pad at all. Sorry, I just fed the baby. So after this baby came out, I mean, can you see this big head? Just kidding, I love her. Beautiful head. I did have an internal tear, so I did have to get stitches done internally um, after they were done a birthing the placenta, but honestly, at that point, I didn't care. I had this beautiful baby on me, and I was just so happy. So that was that. Honestly, like I said, the free I didn't even feel them doing the freezing and the stitches I didn't feel at all which was my fear I'm currently three weeks postpartum and the recovery has been really great I'm still not bleeding that much the pain has been pretty good even though I had stitches um, I mean here and there it's a little bit painful like when I'm lifting things the first week for sure I would say the first actually week and a half like the first 10 days it was really intense this is my postpartum belly at three weeks stretch marks you know got this going on but it's gone down a lot i apologize for the mess in the background you would say can't you just clean it up i have a newborn so it makes things a little bit more tricky any anyway, right before i had her i did weigh in at 234 pounds i gained over 50 pounds this pregnancy and i weighed myself yesterday i was 209 pounds so the first week after I had her, I was 215 pounds. So I lost about 15 pounds from having her. She herself was nine pounds. And then at two weeks postpartum, I was 211 pounds. And at three weeks postpartum, I am weighing in at 209 pounds. My pre-birth weight was 194 pounds. But the reason I gained 50 pounds is because I lost a lot of weight at the beginning. I was very sick with HG in my pregnancy, and then I gained a lot of weight afterwards. So that is why I have gained over 50 pounds this pregnancy. But my pre-pregnancy weight with this baby was 194 pounds, and then with my very first baby, my pre-pregnancy weight, which I've never gotten back down to, was 164 pounds. So we will see. I'm six feet, so it's kind of normal to be you know, a little bit over 164 when you're six feet tall. That is my three week postpartum update. I will make a little bit more of an update in a couple weeks. Now you've seen how that was about midway through. During week three of my postpartum journey, I started going on a lot of walks and hikes. It was actually a lot of difficult ones as well. And though I was supposed to wait until six weeks postpartum to do any crazy extreme workouts, I did start off with just some nice walks and hikes. Some of them definitely were a little bit too much for three weeks postpartum, but you live and you learn. That did shortly end just because, honestly, tired mom life got the best of me. It hit me hard, and I just couldn't keep up with it, and I was very unmotivated. So I did do it for a little bit over a week, every single day, multiple hours a day, and that definitely actually helped losing some of the weight. It did help with my body positivity, and it also helped with my mental health at the time. So I definitely want to get back into it because I just felt like I was getting out of the house. It helped with my mental health, especially in this pandemic. You're kind of stuck around, so getting out in the outdoors was really nice for me. Now that we are at the six-week postpartum mark, let's talk about what's been going on the past few weeks. Last week, at five weeks, I was weighing in at 204 pounds. This week, I'm 207. I don't know what's going on there, but we'll move on from that and move on to the next thing. I did stop bleeding or spotting really quickly. Um, I actually, I've not had any spotting at all this week, but to be honest with you, I only actually really bled for the first two days postpartum, which is crazy because for my first, I bled for a good four to five weeks and then it started again at six weeks and it was just crazy. And this time around, two days, I kept asking the doctors, like, is something wrong with me? Why am I not bleeding? Why am I not getting rid of all that stuff? And they were saying, like, oh, no, don't worry. Like, it's normal. I don't know about you, but two days, 
compared to like five weeks last time around. Crazy. Not that I'm complaining. Your girl likes wearing her light colored pants. Emotions. So it's kind of hard to explain postpartum emotions to someone that hasn't experienced it yet. But it's kind of just a roller coaster. It's all over the place. Sometimes you're really good, sometimes it's rough. The best way I would explain my personal postpartum emotions is I'm very overly sensitive. So normally if someone cracks a joke at me, I can take a joke. But lately, someone cracks a joke at me, oof, I take it to heart. I might not get upset in front of them, but I'll definitely go off to the side and think about it or cry a little bit. Um, so I would say that's the biggest kind of difference. People say like when you breastfeed, you lose weight. And I've heard people swear by that. That was never the case for me. I did not, I could not lose weight when I was breastfeeding. I was working out with someone who was practicing to be a personal trainer at the time, and I was working out every day, intense, so they knew what they were talking about when they were telling me what exercises to do. And for months I did this and nothing happened until I stopped breastfeeding and anyways. So I think it really depends on your body and each person is different. Some people might just lose all the weight while they're breastfeeding. Some people might lose none of the weight. Some people bounce back right after. I don't know this whole bounce back thing people keep telling me oh you bounce back so great i don't know what that means like i don't feel like i bounce back <laughs> now let's get right into what i look like physically at six weeks postpartum this is why i laugh at the whole bounce back thing that everyone talks about because your girl can hide it pretty good in her pants you see what i'm saying it's hidden you can't really tell Ta-da! everyone says wow you bounce back Girlfriend, don't be embarrassed. I did want to read you this quote that I read online from someone. Clothes are meant to fit your body. Your body is not meant to conform to clothes. I absolutely love this quote when I saw it because I have always thought I'll keep these pair of jeans because one day I will get back down to that weight and I'll fit in it again. And after I had my daughter, I decided... You know, I'm not gonna buy any clothes that fit me right now. My maternity clothes were too big and my normal clothes I used to wear were too small. And I was like, don't worry about it. I'm not gonna buy clothes until I fit back in my old clothes. And my body image, the way I was feeling about myself was just so down until I realized clothes are literally there. Like the point of clothing is literally to protect your body, cover your body, that's what it's there for. It's not there for you to be forced to fit in them. It's not meant to tell you what size you need to be. So when I saw that clothes are meant to fit your body, your body is not meant to conform or to change to fit in your clothes, mind blown. I mean, of course, it's obvious. You're probably thinking, Shay, obviously, no duh. But I've never really thought about it like that and that totally changed my mindset. I've definitely been struggling with the way I have been looking since having my daughter, even while I was pregnant, which sounds a little silly, but it's true. And I'm still really, really struggling, um, not losing the rest of the weight and things like that, even though I know weight is just a number. But I've definitely been struggling with that and that's been taking a toll on my mental health as well. It is a work in progress. I'm only six weeks postpartum right now, so we'll see what happens. I did want to be totally honest and transparent with you in case you are in a similar kind of mindset as me. You are beautiful. Your body does not define you. I need to keep telling myself that and reminding myself of these few quotes that are honestly life-changing right now. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know down below how your postpartum journey is going or how it went for you. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!